Welcome to the 2022 Unity Beginners course. This is episode 12 and I will talk about colliders and demonstrate collision detection. Collisions are one of the fundamental features in games and physics simulation. There are multiple types of colliders in Unity. We have box colliders, sphere colliders, capsule colliders, and mesh colliders, etc. And there are even more 2D colliders available. The easiest way of testing collisions is to use the physics system. We can create a simple scene and attach the rigid body component to these spheres here. When we run a game, they will fall and hit the ground. Let's talk more about mesh colliders. This is a special collider that changes its shape depending on the mesh provided. It is useful for complex meshes. Mesh colliders can be set to convex mode. This simulation here shows the difference between non-convex and convex mesh colliders. Notice how a convex mesh collider simplifies the collision phase. A mesh collider must be convex when a non-kinematic rigid body is attached for the physics simulation. It is generally recommended to use simple colliders, like box and sphere colliders, over mesh colliders. Mesh colliders are more complex and hence uses more performance during runtime. However, for meshes requiring accurate collisions, such as terrain meshes, mesh colliders will be a better choice. Another use of colliders is to trigger events. When we enable the is trigger property of a collider, objects will no longer collide with it physically. Instead, trigger events will be fired when the object interacts with the trigger collider. Now, we will get into coding. Model behavior objects contain these methods to handle collision and trigger events. We can simply define them in our scripts and add our own logic inside. There are enter, exit, and state events. Only state events will be fired continuously. Notice the parameter passed to the on collision and on trigger methods are different. The former takes a collision object, while the latter takes a collider object. We can apply detection filters using tags and layers, which we have covered in the previous episode. This is how you work with collisions. There are so many classes involved, and more references can be found in the Unity scripting API. This is episode 12 of the 2022 Unity Beginners course. I am Yellow Flicker and I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.